Hello everyone, Amud here from the Target Common YouTube channel and I am here with another topic of Lesser Sword. So in the last video we have learned how can we convert a nested JSON object to a POJO, resp POJO response, POJO class. Okay, after converting to a POJO class we can fetch the values, right. So just for recap, we were getting this type of nested JSON object and we convert, we created two POJO classes for this and we passed or we deserialized the complete JSON object response to POJO, right, parent POJO. Then to fetch the street name, we use the get address method and then from get address we call the methods of address POJO class, okay, like this, right. So first we convert it to the parent one, then we are calling the get address, then from address instance or address variable, sorry address object, we got the state name. But in real time you might get a very lengthy, very lengthy JSON responses like nested JSON responses, okay. So for that there is no need to go and create the all the required POJO classes. Because this is simple, right? Here we just need the two POJO classes, but in real time you will get a very lengthy JSON responses where you may need to get a multiple POJO classes, okay? But you don't require those POJO classes, right? Means you don't need to fetch any values from all the POJO classes. Just for here, just for example, this is a POJO response, and here from this response you just want to fetch the uh, suppose a street name, only the street name you need to fetch, no other values you required. So if you are going to create two POJO classes and then pass it to parent one, then come to the nested POJO and then fetch the value, that is not a good idea, right? And that will be waste of time and waste of effort, okay? So in this episode, we have, a, we have an option to deserialize or map or convert a specific part of your response to POJO class, okay? So means, I will not convert the whole response to this the parent one. I just want to convert this part into a POJO class, okay? So for whatever you need to convert into POJO, okay? For that you need to have one existing valid POJO, okay? So for example, what I'm going to do here, I will use the same uh, mocked API because this is going to give me the same response and I will copy this okay let me paste it nested JSON object or part of okay because I don't want the overall I just want to convert a, a portion of it so let me open it okay let me delete everything from here so there is no need to use the edge method now, okay. So we ha I have already covered about the JSON path, okay. So you need to call the JSON path, okay, so that you can write the path, you can write the JSON path to get any value, right. I have already covered in my previous videos, please go and watch them if you have not watched. But if you are aware of this, then proceed here, okay, JSON path. Then we have a method called get object, right? Earlier we have used get string, get int, get boolean, right? So this time we need to use the get object method. And you can see here, the, we have two overloaded get object method. The first one takes the path, which will be JSON path. And second will be in which, in which POJO or in which type you want to convert it, okay? So what I'll do? The JSON path of address here will be address only, right? Because this is direct child. So copy address and paste it here. Okay. So once we write the JSON path as address, it will give me this much, right? This will be like, this is like simple JSON objects, simple JSON object, which we learned in my previous video. So to convert this nested, to convert this JSON object to a POJO, we know that we need to use type address address dot class that's all we need to do and instead of storing into employee with address i need to store into address why because i i just converted the part of my nested json object response okay now 
get the house number is in whatever you want okay then no need to create uh, no need to create the pojo classes for uh, for the lengthy json object okay whatever you need just create for them and just parse it so let me run it and show you that it works perfectly fine or not okay so let me run it from here Okay, it is taking some time, but yeah, it will run. So window console, and you can see it is printing the Bangalore city name, right? So this is the simple, and the it should be used. Okay, D don't go in hurry and create the project classes for everything. No, because there is no such requirement. If you really and if you if you are not going to really make use of all those project classes. If you want the value of just the uh, small portion, just do it. Okay. This is also an interview question also where they will ask, okay, you get the very lengthy pojo and just you want to extract some values. How can you do that one? So this is the better way to do that. Okay. So if you have any confusion, please comment on this video. Or if you or if you really like my videos, please like, comment, subscribe, and share with others. And in next video, we'll we'll learn about how can we convert the json array response okay json array response to pojo classes then we cover the nested json array responses and all the other small small concepts as well okay so thank you everyone